Have you ever read a book that you just wanted to get lost in and just never leave that world? Well, that's how I felt when I read The Name of the Wind. This is a very long book, and it's an epic fantasy of the quality of Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings, but there's nothing in it that makes me feel like the author was imitating either of those. This was something completely different. It's a fascinating system of magic, and the world building is interesting and intricate, and the story tells a lot about the education of wizards, but nothing again, nothing at all like a certain boy wizard's experiences. Instead, it's a story of a man who became a legend in spite of himself, trying to figure out what his significance in life is. And he's looking back on some of his adventures, telling someone else about them. And the story is framed in a pub. Like I said, this is a book to get lost in. It's very immersive and it's a very intimate recounting of this man's search. I think if you like epic fantasy, if you love it at all, this is a book for you, but it's not a quick and fast read. It's something to be savored and enjoyed. This is Evelyn Puerto. Thanks for stopping by.